for the back. long hiatus. We're back. Yeah. Sorry, Murph. We're back at the special mustache edition, Maple oh, Grays. Jesus. <laughs> maple. Yes, I'm aware it's not did a good you, mustache. Did you before say people Maple start. Grays? I said. We, yes. we're, we're in the glazed. middle of... <laughs> Glazed, maple, glazed, yeah, maple grazed. grazed. We're grazing on maples. It's fine. Oh, God. Yeah, you're welcome. Why don't you have to make that noise? Grazed. It's creepy. With your buddy, Murph. <laughs> I am glazed. He is maple. Your two favorite strippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. <laughs> I could see that being at a strip club. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks, buddy. We I are... I hit my leg. I don't know. Okay. Um, we are back after a couple of weeks. Uh, yep. Murph... Has a life outside this podcast. I, yeah, Sorry. he does. I do. He he, he does. He's, I know. You uh, first and foremost, kind of let's kind of touch base a little bit. Let's go back a little we're bit. Touching I, bases. We're touching bases. We're touching bases. You know, just I, tips, but bases. <laughs> no, no tips. I, okay, we didn't ask for tips. Just we just do the bases. tip of the base, or do we have to do the full base? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, <laughs> so we actually had an interesting. Halloween, we both kind of yep. celebrated, did our own thing, and then a uh, week before that, Murph had something special happen. Did I? She, I guess I went Chicago. to Chicago. Oh, yeah. is that special? He's I don't kind know, of sorry. a. She, well, yeah. Okay. I mean, your brother. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You consider that? Oh wait. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So sorry. <laughs> just, I'm now realizing what you're queuing up to. That was, uh, you know, this is why we need to get scripted. Jeez. Um, no yeah, he played his 500th career game, which yeah. is very good in the NHL level. Unfortunately. Um, all the team did was give him an Instagram shout out, which that's it. That's it. Nothing Are you else. kidding me? Yep, no, nothing recognized during the game. Nothing. No. Yeah. I literally had to, I had to hold in peeing for like an hour to, because I thought I was going to miss something and they didn't do anything at the game. Wait, Patrick Kane got like a Jersey for his a thousand. He got a thousand, unfortunately. A thousand's like a really big milestone. Like 500 is like big, but like in the scheme of, I guess the team, it's like. Congrats, but like, let's let's be do. Real. Like, I don't know. I saw the I saw the post. It was Instagram slash Facebook post. Yeah. And, and and granted, too, if you guys follow Chicago Blackhawks, they love you. Should they love Connor? And, and they do, rightfully so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need to tell me, just get a social media shout out. Like, hey, yeah, that's it. You did it. You know, yeah. You know, God, I mean, not, that's more than what we all get. I'll not be you know, not even a pencil. Right. I'll be well. I'll a be Blackhawks pencil. <laughs> I'll be ten years at my job, and I'm just getting a month paid vacation. So it's like oh, you know, it's like, I'm not getting shout out or pencils or <laughs> anything not even a gift card no oh no damn nothing damn. so you know that's just unfortunately the reality of life we found this batch of lettuce in the yeah. back you can take that home no thank you it's contaminated but you can take it home <laughs> uh, i have to wait a while and wash it but there you go be fine no <laughs> i should make those jokes no no, no. shout out chipotle thank you so much for the no, sponsor no 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 <laughs> They're good now. It was just one hiccup. They're good now. I can say that. They're good now. Not just any hiccup. Uh, a hiccup that happened very close to here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. But that's all. It's old news. It's old news. Okay. It's old stuff. Jeez, man. Come on. Stop Sorry. living in the past. It's just funny. I'm going to milk that cow. Ew. <laughs> um, you enjoy it too much. <laughs> for those of you guys who watch uh, some of my vlog, I actually did a um, kind of a special road trip to um ck autumn fest in west virginia yeah. serato canova thanks Good. for the invite <laughs> you're busy yep you had your halloween party true yeah. continue <laughs> but um no it actually was really fun got to see one place i really haven't been to and honestly you really didn't miss out it's like one one road yeah man. And, and they moved everything to sunday and i was like okay I actually got to go to the circleville pumpkin show so that was kind of cool you did really busy but it was cool yeah it was fun oh yeah i forgot you too yeah it was okay. fun that was before I went to Chicago, but yeah, it was oh. cool. It was obviously very Circleville. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually had I thought like, oh, I'll try and be healthy, and you can't be healthy at a show like that. But I was like, I'll get the deep fried vegetables. Nope, nope. Why? <laughs> Just nope. I mean, they were good, but like the deep frying and the dough they use was so heavy. Yeah. I didn't even finish the whole thing. It was like they gave like a spicy ranch, which was good, but like Ooh. it was just sat so heavy I couldn't finish it all. They have they have something like that in. Um... West Virginia, they had like a, they have like a little truck. Okay. They, yep. they had something like that. And yep, it same. was like, it was like, oh, you could get like a fried, you know, literally anything. Yeah. It's, it's all over the trucks, like fried onion, fried pepper, fried Oreos, you name it. It's just like, why? Why are we doing yeah. this? That's America. You can fry your phone. Actually, right. <laughs> Do you I don't want? know if I want to eat it. That'd be kind of no. gross, but. But it's cool. I actually wanted to get Oreos, but I was just feeling so weird after the fried vegetables. I was like, I don't Uh-oh. think I can even do Oreos. I was just well, like, I mean, you eat healthy, so you I might know, as well go for something that's. <laughs> the pro- well, the problem was is, like, I, right? I was 
So during Lent, I ate healthy and I cut out the bad stuff so that by the time I started eating bad stuff again, I could eat a ton of it because like my body was so used to like ready for it. But yeah. now I'm kind of balancing bad stuff and good stuff, so <laughs> sure. I can't eat as much bad stuff anymore. Like it's like your body, my body's like, no, you've done it already this week. You can't do it again. Like that's <laughs> it. Like this is it. So like, I'm not going to tell you again. Yeah. I'm going to make you start yeah. pooping your pants. Exactly. You know, I may not look like it, but I like to think I'm pretty healthy. But I don't. I don't <laughs> look like it, especially with this mustache. But yeah, it's you know, it's Murph. I can barely see your mustache from here. Looks like you got a shadow. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's as much as you get right there. <laughs> not where I'm not a facial hair kind of guy. I try, oh, but I'm just not very good at it. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't finish. Um, unfortunately, though, the Blackhawks did lose, so that sucked. So that was not fun. Oh. But you know, yeah. we did do some nice dinners for his 500th, and my mom, my sister were there as well. My dad couldn't make it, obviously coaching for New York. So yeah. unfortunately, the downsides of being professional athlete is you are on call for the team almost 24 seven. So when you want to enjoy f- big family events, they cannot. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it was a really good time. A lot of fun, a lot of nice food. Um, Connor's girlfriend was awesome as always when we got to visit with her and talk with her more. He's got an awesome dog, um, Finn. He has his own Instagram page. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dude, it's cool though. It's fun. He's got a lot of energy. Uh, (laughs) he's he's a a, goofy dog. Oh oh my God. He's cute and hilarious. (laughs) Too much. I could not raise him 24 seven like they do, but when I visit him, I have fun and it's a good time. And then when I leave, I'm like. It's kind of like, you know, kids where you're like, I'm happy they're not mine because I don't want that responsibility all the time, but I'm happy to see them and have yeah. some fun and get them revved up for their parents and leave. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of how I do it. Wear them out. So, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Samoyed. That's the word I was looking for there. Just Samoyed. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, that and that. And then, I guess, while we're still on the topic, I guess the latest news is they have fired their head coach now because they've lost so much. Yeah, so that is finally over. Unfortunately, well, the season that, has you been had, a nightmare. Yeah, you it's your, bad. The GM and the coach because of some of the issues that came out. And In all fairness, which I don't want to get into yeah, it, but it's... I'll, I'll just make one comment on it and people can... I'm sorry. <laughs> that hopefully this doesn't get them to unsubscribe from your podcast. No one, no one listens I don't, to this. Fair fine. enough, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think it's fair that... And it was a horrible situation. I will agree with that. And the right people have been held accountable. But yeah. I don't think it's fair that leagues take so long to make decisions. True. Like, especially with right now, most of the guys on that team were not there when this happened. True. And now they finally make How this decision. How long did it happen? I don't even it was when I think it was when they won a Stanley. It was when they won a Stanley oh, Cup. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, this is like almost like 10 years now. Oh. Like, it's just like, yeah, now we're going to like reopen those <laughs> wounds and do all that stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Hold the people responsible you need to report. But I think you owe it to the victim and people to have a timely response. And the fact that the NHL took this long is, to me, very shocking and disappointing. Because, like, I mean, two, three years, understandable. Five, ten, that's just ridiculous. That's crazy. Like, you gotta you got to make the decision to move on. It took them this long. Like, I hate to say it. I think, I really think the commissioner might need to be accountable for this. Like, it took yeah. me to, the guy got his name put on the Stanley Cup. They had to take it off. Like oh it's just bad. It's just bad all around. Anyway, that's the only way, only thing I'm going to go into it on. <laughs> it was a horrible situation. I feel awful for everyone involved. Um, there's a special place in hell for that guy. Excuse me, but I just do not. I do not yeah. support anything of what happened with that. But I just get angry that this new culture we seem to live in, where now past mistakes can be brought up five, ten, yeah. twenty years. Like shit, we all make mistakes. The whole point is you got to be able to move on in a timely fashion. And to just reopen those wounds is just not fair. Like, it sounds weird, but even think about it. Like, criminals have timetables where, like, crimes are forgotten. Oh, yeah. And nowadays, like, you yeah, can make one bad post, yeah. and that's never forgotten for the rest of your life. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, and I, I know people are like, just be careful what you post on the internet. But you're like, it's well, in some of these cases, you're yeah. a teenager, and you post something like, hell, someone could bring up one of these podcasts and be like, he said something kind of risky that doesn't, <laughs> like, doesn't match our new PC culture. And you're like... <laughs> Listen, Come this on, whole man. podcast like, is a match of PC right, culture. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yeah. Even but, if someone brought something up, I'd be like, okay, this yeah. is what you're going to get. This right. Is what we're gonna no. Do. I like to think we're not that bad. But, no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this we is, are. This like, is Murph Can- Canadian side talking yeah, right, right now. No, no. Don't say not that. that you'll, you'll piss them off more. <laughs> but no, it's like. Oh, man. No, it's, it's just, I, I don't know. I, that's my last TSA on that. I'm just like. I'll get off the soapbox now. That's just the one thing that I know. Right, one thing that drives me nuts, TSA. <laughs> we won't go down that road. Or PSA. I don't know why I said TSA. So we have a PSA. <laughs> TSA yeah, can eat. TSA, right. TSA too. But no. Um, <laughs> but no, that's just, I don't know. That's just the thing that I understand when it happens. It may take a year or two to fully investigate and talk to everyone. But five, ten years, like, you're just, 
it's just that's just bad. It's just really bad now. And you're you're punishing people like, especially in the Blackhawks organization, my brother Mark Andre Fleury, people that have like came into this organization not really thinking about this, and now yeah. you're punishing all of them and giving them a bad it's, name when they're just trying to focus on their job and doing what they do and dedicate their life to. Like it's, it's, it sucks. It sucks. Usually, you get a team in, in a situation like this, you're gonna start having yeah. bringing in people who could potentially um, kind of bring about upheaval. Um, kind of uplift the roster, and you know that's something you got to also worry about too. And it's also not fair to fans because you're going through fair, the, yeah. you're going through the yeah. struggle of you have to rebuild a horrible again season of and rebuilding, and then now you're almost embarrassed to wear their gear because they have this national thing hanging over their head. And true, I mean, I mean, fortunately, it's I guess though you could say the same thing about some of the other topics we've talked about about atrocities in the past for countries that are being brought up now and things like that. But it's like. <laughs> I don't know. It's Thank you. Thank you to uh, our only Canadian who reached out to us last time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. I should make sure they, that they're I coming on the first one. Make sure I didn't fact check my. They didn't fact check my sources. You know what? I will. They 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 yeah. came. Okay, they came at me and they're like, "Oh, like these are my sources." And one of them, all right, was Press for Truth, which I know Dan Dix pretty. Like I don't know him personally, who? but I I I follow him. Dan Dix. <laughs> Sorry, that was I know it's a good name. Right, Canadian. Continue. Jesus. Um, but no, it's, they, they're kind of like a so-called, you know, non-discriminatory, like news media. And I was like, oh, this person, yeah. I, I don't know, basically I just want to leave it at that. He's a good guy, does his work, but I was like, I haven't heard Press for Truth in so long. I was like, oh man, it's been a minute. It's I mean, I guess we should, we maybe should have warned the listeners that you're like, if you're listening to us for fact-checked facts and opinions, then you're on the wrong podcast. <laughs> it's like, I literally, I take the we few news stories. We have a Canadian who's right? a little bit far, far removed from uh, exactly. Canada, but yeah. you know what? He's he's Canadian. That's yeah. all we need. Yeah, do not take my words of the gospel <laughs> truth. Like, yeah, that's not that's not where we're at. I'm sure we're going to get some fun messages <laughs> on that one. But do not take my word for the gospel truth on that. <laughs> so, like you see, some of my things are like, yeah, no, that's about right. You take someone from Canada, that's what they're going to say. And others of it's like, yeah, you're completely off. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you know, that's just my life. It's how I lurk. It's, you know, all, it's gonna be the- all I have to do is just say just a bunch of trigger words. Press Perfect. for truth. Um, Rick Simpson, cannabis oil, and all kinds of crap. Next thing you know, bam, banned. That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big thing for a while. That's why. Uh, Banning people? Um, no, Canada, they had issues with um, marijuana and CBD oh, yeah. oil. And Rick Simpson kind of started all that stuff because they found out it was helping with relieving were, pain. And Some were saying that's how Trudeau won because he promised to um, unban marijuana. When did he so unban it? I can't remember. I have um, no idea. It wasn't. I don't think it was too long after his prime minister thing started. That oh, whole okay. system confuses me because <laughs> it's like they're basically a prime minister for as long as they want, but then they can just randomly have elections every once in a while to show that they're like. Huh. Still democratic and so I don't know I don't I don't I haven't done the full research on it all I don't really know how it works. But Step I know, one: remove right. yourself from England. <laughs> I think England does this, well. England does the same things. The Parliament there, but there are probably slight differences. But like, yeah, it's well, like, that's that's the thing with the U.S. They kind of they kind of set the stage for all that, and then the rest of the country is like, well, that that looks good on paper, and then right. they they try to adopt it, but not everything. <laughs> They're like, let's have every once in a while when people are really pissed yeah. off. Then maybe, yeah. Or they'll be like, you know, oh, my number's really high. Let's just have an election now so it looks like I was elected. Like, it's, it's very wow. interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Meanwhile, in the outskirts of Canada. All right, someone get some rocks. We're chucking in at Trudeau today. <laughs> Maybe just empty Wilson cans. No, <laughs> basically. Crown Royal bottles. No. <laughs> Boy, Crown Royal, holy uh, shit. Bam! That's the sponsorship we need, Crown Royal. Oh, uh, buddy, buddy. I swear if that happens, we are. We've made cool. it. If we've made, if I've, At this point, we've made it if we get a Crown Royal sponsorship. <laughs> Boy, we'd be done. Uh, oh, my gosh. We'd not. Uh, we'd barely I'd get probably by might, I'd probably, You know what? I'd probably just quit my normal job because I'd be like, I'm just drinking Crown Royal all day. Live off the government. <laughs> <laughs> Murph be over here. Crown Royal Vanilla. That's right. Thank you. Or make Good stuff. Ooh, yeah. Might have to have... One of those on one of our podcasts, just in honor of the podcast. Man. It's so sugary, but it's so good. Man. Yeah. I tell you what, you put some, I've had, I went to New Hampshire this last year, since New Hampshire doesn't have any um, uh, liquor tax. Okay. Um, we, me and my dad stopped there, and then that's where I got the butterscotch liquor. From who? Oh, it's, it's just like a. Like schnapps or? Oh, it's it's like a, 
Yeah, I think it's like a sh- schnapps. Okay, okay. And it's okay. like because we're from talking about reason- Brown, Crown Royal, and then you're like butterscotch liquor. Like, but no, I was make that. I was oh. saying like I, I mix that stuff in with it with Ooh, a little bit of like yeah. with root beer. Oh, dude! And you can't taste anything. It's oh. so smooth. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm dead. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's that's bad. Uh, yeah. Thank you, non-sponsor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for putting it out in the world. Thank you. Thank you for putting it out in the world. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Dude. I That's the thing. Uh, Halloween was a little bit dull this year. We got a... Uh, for you, it was. Yeah. Just remember, you chose not to come, but the party was lit. What are you talking about? A couple people showed up. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, we had we said we had people show up, but like I said, I invited you. So before you were like, "Oh, Tyler's not a good friend. He didn't invite oh, you." Like, I, oh, I, no, I, did. I was going to say that. Him. I invited. I was going to say that. Yeah, we can't say it was boring and then no. be like, "Oh, Tyler threw a party. Why didn't you go?" Be like, "Oh no, you chose not to go." I, I there were wanted... people there that you could not. But yeah, that's yeah. No, because I, I, I hate to be like tied up and not literally. I hate <laughs> I hate to be like kind Teach of thrown, kind of convoluted in a place. You know, in one place for Halloween, I just I I feel like I have to go travel somewhere because I don't know. All right, fair. fair Maybe fair, just fair. The, the scenery or whatever. It's just different over here this time of year. So that's one reason why I went to West Virginia and and all these other places. But I'm happy I got to go. It was good. And then now we're in November, and it was uh, it was unique. It was fun though. But looking forward to next year. Um, Already oh, yeah. only three hundred and sixty something days oh, later. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm a part of like so many like different like groups and on there. Like, people post like a picture a day for Halloween until the next one. I'm like, God damn, y'all drag me back in. I swear. But they, um, um, no, is uh, I feel it's acceptable. You could probably still celebrate a little bit this week, and then like next week really yeah. cut it out. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. And just cut it out. Yeah, just stop. Just cut. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> it's like the Christmas people. Not yet. Just wait. Just wait. It's just a different, you know, I'll, I'll different maybe, beast here. I'll maybe give you. Yeah, I would say. I'll maybe, oh, really? So in Germany, it wasn't like that. What? They celebrate stupid early, like right now. Actually, they're celebrating it right now early. People are celebrating it right now. I'm seeing and, TikTok and, videos and, of people putting Christmas trees up. Oh, in the U.S. they are. But yeah, Germany, no, Germany is what's um, I don't know. I was never there that long to that point. Okay. So. Really? Oh, yeah. That's right. Because the season started differently. Okay. Yeah. Usually, I'd be back by September. Gotcha. So. Even then, I mean, everyone. I would say maybe it's a North American thing. I don't think it's really big in Canada, but you, I know there are people in Canada that do it. So it's like, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Germans are more, they're more excited about just going out to those Christmas type of outings outside. They, they want, they want the, the glue vine. They want all that stuff. They just want to. Fair. He's more so just. I, I respect the fact that these people want to go outside in the cold, right? And just. Remember the just, le- oh. leather guy we met when he was doing the the Christmas oh, yeah. market and like yeah. like you see you in pictures and you're like man it looks like it's freezing outside like under thirty <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit we do Fahrenheit here uh, thirty <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit so zero degrees Celsius and they're like everyone's out yeah. like it was crazy and you could tell like red faces everything they look cold as hell but they were having a <laughs> blast uh, I did yeah. I did one of those in Chicago I think it was the second year my brother was living there we found a German festival. Christmas festival there it was awesome. Yeah, uh, but yeah, man, just it's the see we we went to uh, if you guys want to look it up, look type in Zach Selesky, um on my YouTube page. We actually me me and Murph went to Roscoe Village and uh, they have a very big kind of um, kind of an older village where a lot of historical stuff has happened, but they kind of rebuilt to what it first looked like in the eighteen hundreds. It's really cool. But um, inside one on that street, they have a leather shop. And really nice people, um, really just just forgiving. We walked in there. One guy almost died of COVID. Yeah. And then the other guy was like, I was in Germany once. And so we got to talking, and Murph was staring at all the leather, leather goods. He's like, man, oh, yeah. this stuff's amazing. It was nice. Like, bro, they just, you don't bro, find stuff made like that Those anymore. leather briefcases were f- dude, fucking phenomenal. Oh my God, dude. Man. If I had a reason for it, I would. Like, if oh, I was yeah. working a more corporate job, I would have. But, like... Walking into expensive. a Chipotle restaurant, being like, I'm going to be auditing you guys and pull out a leather briefcase. They'd be like, oh, crap, someone's getting fired. And I'm like, no, that's not what's going to happen. Either yet. someone's getting fired or getting yeah, their ass exactly, kicked. Right? Yeah. No, it was some, it was some nice. Like, they just don't make that stuff anymore. Like, oh, that's, that's nice. Like, great. you feel bad. That's the stuff that needs supported. Like, you need those oh, yeah. people in life. And then, unfortunately, what you guys will see if you watch the video, like, they're all really old guys. So you're kind of like, who's going to take this over when they're done? Like, you, they that's got a, a few years. Like, they got years, like. So Maybe 10, 20 years left if they're lucky. Like, yeah. You're like, no one's taking that over when they're done. Like, that's <laughs> like, 
those trades are kind of going out the window right now. No one wants to pick them up. Like it's you see those in the small towns. People yeah. are just those awesome people with those type of skills start to die out. Yeah, and not good. We're gonna run into an issue next yeah. couple of generations. We're just gonna have to keep importing stuff, which is never that's never good. Yeah. Not being able to produce some things here, but a lot of broken fingers. Like everything, we'll just have to tackle it when we get there. <laughs> oh but. man, I was I was hella late this week with all my Patreon stuff for my vlog channel. Way to go, man. So sorry about that. I I gotta show your people some love here. I do. I do. Just want to say sorry. <laughs> I still gotta do that video, but I don't forgive you. Um <laughs> obviously Murph doesn't. I don't. Everybody in the chat say the hell with you, Murph. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> uh no, I, I ended up taking up a new role at the kind of the part time job I have at the supplement store. Um basically my boss was like, Hey, I want to do some videos because we have so so many unique people come in week in and week out. We should do like a story to kind of talk about some of the struggles in life, uh, physical ailments, whatever. And I was like, oh, sweet. Let's do that. So next, so thing, go to your nearest supplement store for like, uh, you know, just uh, know. Red Shoes Diaries or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. I was like, hey, Vince, that's fine. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Basically, it's it's. We did it like we started like this little small series of people who do extraordinary things, mm-hmm. um, and that's kind of all, kind of how this grew out of it, and you know out of that idea. And next thing you know, he's like, "Oh, we should edit this. Oh, I got a video. You should do that." I was like, "Oh, okay." So now I'm taking this on. I'm thinking, all right, go, man, 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 no, get paid to do that. Um, get also, that too, experience. I just want to say thank you to a couple of you guys. Okay, I don't know who you're gonna say thank you to. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Yep. I chair. finally got my chair. Yeah, Murph got a chair. Got a that's chair. all. I that's can't all. See from this direction, but Murph yeah. got a chair, got a chair. And, and his Oops. butt is. Oh, how do I stop this? <laughs> how do I stop it? Okay, sorry. I don't know what I hit. Uh, it just started going up. Desk moves. There I got we too go. excited. Okay, I just started hitting buttons. I'm like, got a chair. Ooh, buttons, buttons. buttons. <laughs> start punching this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but thank uh, you guys for all that. Thank you. Um, his tushy is cozy. Yep, that's all that matters. Uh, also, too, I want to segue. I am no, I'm not a, a whore when I say this. We do have a Patreon as well for the... Yeah, we kind of are. Yeah, well, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, we do have a Patreon for the podcast. Uh, it really does help out. Honestly, it's probably more expensive to run a podcast, you would think, uh, know, than, right? than a vlog. Um, more expensive doing this. Fair. Because, Fair. you know, with YouTube, I never noticed this. With YouTube, it's it that's the distributor you can upload, and then that's your distributor all in one. But then it's like for podcasting, you gotta you gotta upload it to one specific site, okay. and then it has an access to like you know Spotify, Apple, uh, Google. Oh. It has to ship those things out to each. So one. middleman, basically, yeah. Okay, that's kind of usually how it works. So or middlewoman, sorry, twenty twenty one, of course. But that usually costs uh, a little bit a month. So okay. anything helps. And then you get to see Murph do, you know, a money dance every single time. Do I have to do that? No. no okay, one, no thank you. I don't, no one wants to see me dance. That's there's not no pa- a, Patreon that's not right now. My so girlfriend doesn't do. want to see me dance. That's not a thing they want to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're whoring ourselves out, so I guess I will if we get patrons, but no one wants to see you that. You know, we're just douse you in a maple and just throw dollar bills at you. It's even a podcast anymore. It's like a uh, Howard da, Stern porno. Da, like, what, like, what is this? Da, what, what did I sign up hey, for? Hey. I didn't agree to this. I did not agree I to that. I yeah. do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Be like uh, Chunk from uh, Goonies doing the truffle <laughs> shuffle with maple syrup all over me. <laughs> oh, uh, instead of truffle, we got maple. Exactly. Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's too much syrup. Make a uh, hail. Bah. <laughs> Oh jeez, uh, what would you have gone out this year then if you did go out for Halloween? Uh, I'm big on on a whole lot of that stuff, so it's like even if I do dress up, it's going to be something that I want to do. Coach. No, I already did that. It was not <laughs> fun. I was when I was in Iowa for that one semester. I was in uh, I dressed up as Bill Polini, the head coach of Nebraska. I was dancing oh, around. That with was a, a bad idea with a dumb look on my face all the time. That's hilarious. <laughs> And then uh, I think when I was in Miami, I did uh, did Bane because I was in my well, shape I missed head. that one. 
yeah you weren't there that, yeah, no, that year that one nice. so I, shaved head i was just like bulked down people were like oh my god was that the year that everyone did bane i think it was in batman just came no out. that was that was like a year after oh, okay, did okay. it's like okay. finally you can do it yeah i can do it everyone kind of like did their stuff yeah. already oh my gosh but okay. i don't know i don't know where i would go as i think <laughs> rick from rick and morty of course <laughs> i had to look I'll over my shoulder yeah. yeah there you go so much rick and morty <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm not i'm not big on that that's good well that's why I, I, I know you did Aquaman, but I did not Aquaman or it's Mermaid Man. Mermaid How dare Man. you confuse them? Oh. SpongeBob Man. That's our childhood right there. I wasn't I wasn't really big in what? SpongeBob. No, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't. Like, I didn't have. I'm kind of like slightly excited that he's like SpongeBob has come back and like the TikTok mainframe and all that stuff. Like all the you know memes what's weird? And stuff. SpongeBob started to come back, but then people started bringing back you know, Mermaid Man and everybody. Yep. It's the funniest thing. Oh yeah, man. Mermaid Man's hilarious. See, and I, Barnacle Boy. I never, I never really had cable till late, and even by then it was like SpongeBob so it was already out for I don't know four or five years. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, man, it's hard to believe they're still making. It. I don't know if that'll ever stop. I thought they stopped already. Did they? I thought they're still they, going. I thought they did. Oh, I don't. I don't follow it enough. I, I, I grew. I grew out of it, but maybe they did. I know they just stopped Arthur. Oh wow! We, we, what Arthur kept going this whole time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was when like we were really young kids. Yeah. That was like the nineties. That was ninety, man, six or seven Went for thirty something years. Oh no, sorry, sorry, bad math. Um, <laughs> Forty five years. No, 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 no. No, it's probably about twenty two, twenty five, somewhere in there. Wow, quite a while. And that's why I just I just feel old now. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> yeah. I can't grow a mustache when I'm old. Wow, holy crap! Baby face mm, Murph. That's exactly coming back. Damn. Wow. Oh, there we go. We get to reminisce Damn, about old. about uh second guessing our life. Right. That's great. Where not where I want to be. <laughs> uh we need patrons now. This is not where I want to be. <laughs> Spice girls want to be. I'm doing the dance Am now I for right? patrons. I'm just, gonna... <laughs> <laughs> just crying the whole yeah, time. Right. Ah. <laughs> this is where I didn't see myself in thirty. <laughs> Boy. Uh I was uh, every every uh, other day or so. Me and Murph will send TikToks to each other. Oh my gosh, way too many times. That app, yeah. that app ruins me. It does, especially at night. Oh, so bad. You go through on the sc- on the scroll. Just so easy when you're bored. Just pop oh. it up. Like, so easy. Okay. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but then I found this. There's just one time. Uh, it's like the other night. I was scrolling through and I see like this big chick, and she was just like. She was doing ASMR, but it wasn't like it was like the antithesis of ASMR, where she's trying to be loud. Okay. And I was in bed, and I was like, I'm starting to like nod off a little bit. And I, I just hear this. Rah, 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 rah. I'm like, what the hell is this crap? And half the time, these comments are just killing me. They're just absolutely, they're just absolutely destroying me. And <laughs> obviously, the top comment on, on most of these things, but this one just killed me. <laughs> Somebody says like, hey, chill. My girlfriend's on this on this app. I need you to chill out. That's great. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That sounds like something legit. That didn't sound like a joke. No, it's it's such a funny like they use on like every uh, video. They okay, always... gotcha. I was gonna say. <laughs> I I don't. I'm I can't still, even explain it. Just yeah, I'm still kind of lost. I have no idea what ASMR is. So I'm like, yeah. I don't oh, it's those people that go. Hello, guys. They're being really quiet. It's is this supposed to be, be like hot or something? No, you're supposed to be like really gentle, oh, and then no. it's supposed to be it's supposed to like the that feeling of relaxation is supposed to go yeah. down. I don't know. Michael, I did actually start feeling relaxed a little bit, but I didn't realize yeah. like I thought it was a sexual thing, not like a. Some people take it sexually. It's really, it's really weird. You know what? To I what? thought I thought it was the weirdest thing in the world when I first watched it was last year, and I was like, "What the hell <laughs> is this crap?" But then I started watching after two minutes. I'm like, "Oh, I'm relaxed." I'm kind of tired. Oh, this is odd. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not where I see that conversation ending for a second. <laughs> no, no, you no. had me going. I was like, no. "Are you about to admit this to your no. <laughs> podcast?" Like, Jeez, Merv. God, <laughs> man, you... Merv always trying to take things sexually. This is what happens. I don't know. It feels like <laughs> half the stuff done on the internet is sexual based, so I have no idea I mean, anymore. I don't. I don't know what life is anymore. It's, I don't blame you. 
right? Oh gosh, that's hilarious. But it's it's just it's just weird to me when you get I don't, half this crap I scroll through on TikTok just kills it's me. It's yeah, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Oh, Vine, please come back. Yeah, this is pretty much it. This pretty much is Vine. Um, yeah, I think I've seen some TikTok videos pretty much admitting that. <laughs> Gary V, just tell everybody to go back to Vine and, and they'll just right. recreate it. You know, he does need more money to buy the Jets, so, you know. <laughs> what are you doing if you would die in two seconds? Dear Lord. Wake up, right? Everyone's on the sidelines and you're eating chips in your chair. <laughs> Get your crap together. <laughs> that is such a Gary V thing. That's funny. Like, Gary Vee, I don't know if you realize the people that work for you are the people that are sitting on the sideline eating chips. Like if everyone did what you did, we would have no one working. You know what's corporate funny jobs. about that? I I used to watch this stuff so religiously, and then he's I'm good. Like, I'll give him that. I follow, oh, he's got, great. Yeah, I follow him on TikTok. He's got some good stuff. Like it's, yeah. yeah, he's a good entrepreneur. I like it. He's got a he's got a good head for business and a good head for people. So I'll give him that. Really good with people. He yeah. can really work with them one on one and kind of inspire them to be better. But and like. This was like two or three years ago where I kind of first watched him and, and I saw like some of his vlogs he put out on YouTube. I was like, oh, it's great. Yeah. I'm inspired. I, I can do whatever. But then <laughs> I'm like, man, I wonder if he's hiring. I'm just curious. And I, I type in Vayner Media. It's like, oh, you got to have, you know, master's degree. Oh, yeah. Then I was like, so you're going to tell me that you can do anything you want in this life without schooling and, and this right. and that, and then you're not even going to be about it, man. The hell. I know, right? Hell out of here. Actually, it's bad that you can like literally get a job at Google without a college degree as like a um, intern or like, no, it's called. Um, it was something I, I heard on TikTok. True. I think they're doing it now where it's apprenticeship. You apprenticeship get apprenticeships off. in Google. But it basically, I think the idea is you will go back to college while working for them. Yeah. Which is like kind of a smart thing, but True. at the same time too, like, yeah, like you're right. Like, you never know what type of talent someone has because they and but they just couldn't afford to go to school or like that. Like you don't have a whole lot of those jobs anymore. No stuff that that allows you kind of buys you time. Yeah. to kind of work through school unless it's like those huge companies. I'll do that. Oh my gosh, yeah. Which but is it's very hard. But yeah, it's, it's just weird nowadays. You don't. Which unfortunately a, though, you kind of need like our workforce kind of needs that. Like for example, Chipotle is primary people that are going to school while working. Is like we kind of need that. Whereas, because, like, no one really wants to make their career out of working in a restaurant. Like, very rare. <laughs> True. Like, I'm willing to admit it. Like, now I, with brisket. Right, well, well, it's amazing. <laughs> but I'm willing to admit it. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to work out of a restaurant, whether it's oh, anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even the little bit of retail I did, that sucked. And I was like, I need to apply myself and figure things out because I don't want to do this the rest of my life. But at the same time, too, we need people that True. are willing to do it. So it's like... Honestly, I'm kind of starting to feel like we should start paying those people a little more just because, like, yeah. we need more talented people That's to do lot. that stuff. Like, I, I've i worked retail, and obviously it's a different... You still kind of do now, technically. Yeah. Those customers are good, though. They know yeah. what they want. That's what I'm saying, though. That's that's the kind of stuff we need more of. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, You just... We're getting GNC in the past. Even now, I mean, it's... I think I dealt with more stupidity at GNC than anything else. Yeah, those those people were the customers that come in would be so just lost, <laughs> and you try to help them, and then they're just like, like, oh no, I don't want to take steroids. Like, ma'am, it's protein, right? What are you going to do? I think that's the thing that frustrates me more is like, if you go like when I go into something and I have no idea what I'm looking for and I need help from somebody, I listen to what they say, yeah, and then I make an informed decision based on what they're telling me. But it's True. funny now nowadays people don't want to accept help. So they exactly. walk in having no idea what they're doing. You help them. them that false and then they, yeah, and then like all of a sudden, know. yeah, then all of a sudden they'll be like, well, I don't want to take steroids. I'm like, if you look in the back of it, nowhere does it say steroids. It's just like, natural. like, yeah, like, and like, yeah, like it's crazy. Like people walk in and pretend like they know what they're doing. And I'm like, like, have you ever worked here before? Like, you don't know what, we don't know what we do here. Like, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, I remember you guys were owned by McDonald's. I'm like, if you do research, they're always never owned by McDonald's. We just benchmarked with uh, them. That's like, Kadoba. Hey, right? Yeah, Siri, like, it's just stupid stuff like that. It's <laughs> so funny. And I think that's the. That would be hilarious if Kadoba reaches out and be like, hey, sponsor us. Oh, my gosh. I'd be like, I don't know. I feel weird. I mean. <laughs> I mean, this is an after work thing for me. So this is not just sponsored by my work, but unfortunately, like Tyler Murphy has no association with No, Chipotle. no offense. I'm not trying to throw shade at it. Obviously, Cadoba does some good things, but unfortunately, their business model, they are not succeeding right now. Like, they need, they're surviving, but they're not succeeding. You know what? Scratch that. Hothead burritos. I'll take oh, that. 
cheap Chipotle, but damn, it's good. Yeah, that's, I mean, you know, you get what you pay for there. That's fine. That's like, <laughs> that's the other thing that annoys me. I'm, I'm fine with it, but obviously American standards are different than European standards. So it's like, oh, yeah. it's like when people yeah. go to like McDonald's and get a burger and they're like, this burger's as good as a fine restaurant burger. And I'm like, not really. You're getting a, yeah, you're getting a 90, wait, no, you're probably getting a 50 cent patty on a, on a burger that's been, you know, grilled and left in a steamer. And, you know, like, I'm just like, you no, ever see like, those on TikTok though? Those people like that work at different fast food. Yeah. Those are wild, especially like right? like I, my favorite is probably Taco Bell. Sorry, Murph. That one still scares me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But the I got one, food poisoning from it once, and after I see them making it, I was like, no wonder why it scares me. But, but anyway, McDonald's continue. was probably the worst because oh, they're showing how, like they're showing how they make the the McRib, and I'm like, what? Yeah, it's gross. What is that patty? And I'm like. Ugh. You don't ask questions. Literally, it just comes frozen. You cook it. You leave it in a thing, and they put sauce on it. It's bad. It, yeah, it's, it's literally like as pink as, yeah. you know, as ground beef. And then they put they dump it in the sauce so it can look like it's been, you know, it's barbecued and one. I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. You yeah. know, back when I was growing up, it was, it was different where people were like, I don't want to eat that. It looks like crap. It's Same. disgusting. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, my God, when are we getting a McRib? I'm like, where the hell is this crowd yeah, come from? People are literally rioting. Or the one I saw on TikTok. Yeah, the one I saw on TikTok was the guy's like, I'm going to work out every day until Taco Bell brings back the nacho fries. And I was like, yeah. And, I, and, he, and he was like, I think he was like 365 days in. And I'm like, dude, congrats. You're actually living healthier. And you want to eat nacho fries? Like, what? Like, Was it Burger King? No. No, I'm pretty no, sure it was Taco Bell. No, it was chicken fries is what it was. Yeah. Okay. They brought those back. Yeah. I remember because I actually had some. And I was like, oh, it's weird. <laughs> but. I I am going is, to eat this every day until McDonald's brings back their pizza. Right. Back when they had in like what the eighties. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, had, they had that. I don't even think I ever had it, but they had that. I think they had hot dogs at one point too. Yeah, a lot ago. of things. They tried a lot of things. <sighs> you know what? Speaking of which, did you see that lawsuit that they're suing McDonald's for the ice cream machines being down? I think oh, the I Lord that. somebody's finally doing it. Because finally, honestly, He's doing a good. Sometimes Lord's that was work. the only reason I would go to McDonald's is like late night and they're the only ones open. I'm like I could go for some ice cream. Like a big flurry sounds amazing, True. and like ninety percent of the time you drive through that drive through and you just hear somebody our ice cream machine's down, and I'm like, all right, and you have to drive away. And I remember seeing things online that basically they're saying the employees don't want to do it, so they'll tell you that it's down because they don't want to. They don't want to make uh, it. Which I'm like. Again, because I understand food jobs aren't sought after, but I'm like at the end of the day, I'm like you've taken this job, like no, do your job. Because like, what happens is the parts is owned by only one company yeah. that's owned by Mickey D's. Yep. So to commission the person to fix them is oh, something yeah. like two grand an hour or something like Stupid. that. It's it's Stupid. through the roof. Which then is also hilarious because I, I think the state that started was California. And as much as California is a hot mess for a lot of things, that's what's also great about California is that if anything is inconvenient, they will sue the shit out of you. <laughs> and it is awesome. True. Because a lot of us my are just kind of like, hear about this. seriously, seriously, they are. They are that bro. They're the, they, my dad's a lawyer, bro. Like, that's the that's the most annoying part is like, myself, I'll just accept it and move on. California be like, oh no, we're tired of this shit. You're getting sued, and that's how it works. Like, oh man, no, yeah, better than, than lawyer bros. Oh yeah, no man. And it was the same for like, the same for in California. Like they have worker worker laws that like if you're going to fire someone, yeah. you have to have their last check in hand. So if they get wind of it, they go on vacation. So and they get paid for that vacation. <laughs> oh my! And then God. they come back, and then they can get terminated. So they've just been paid for like two weeks before. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Some of the. California is such a mess in some ways, but it's also so great in other ways. So it's just like, and obviously a lot of people are leaving it. So there's a lot of, and obviously taxes and crap. You got CEOs living out of cars and stuff. It's crazy. But um, yeah. Come to California. Right? Sleep in your car. <laughs> well, I don't, is Schwarzenegger still there, Governor? No. Oh, so I thought was Gavin dead. Newsom. Okay, I don't know who that is. Democrat. Last name sounds familiar, but I don't know, yeah. Democrat, he's the one that kept Actually, his, that's uh, right. He raised he, taxes. That's why all those people are leaving. Well, he or no, maybe it was L.A. He kept his winery open during COVID while everything else was shut down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, you know, not many people go to wineries. You can do social distancing at wineries. Well, he was having like I'm messing with gathered you. events oh, and everything. Geez. Isn't there a regular? No, there's no COVID in wineries. I, These grapes are COVID free, woman. The brown, the brown, the wood barrels suck up the COVID and they keep them. And the <laughs> wine kills it. The wine kills it. The alcohol from the wine kills the COVID. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, oh, so take God. a bottle of wine and just douse yourself in it. You got no more COVID. Oh wow, this works. Right? Oh my gosh. Drink a little, you know. The, it works on my pores. Was it from um oh that was it, uh the Will Ferrell movie. Was it Journey to the Center of the Earth or whatever he made? Where he oh caught dinosaur pee and he poured it on him. He's like, I'm gonna drink a little too. <laughs> and attract the dinosaur instead. <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty sure when I studied it, this is how like we'll keep dinosaurs away. And he started pouring it all over himself. Oh my god. He's like, I'm gonna drink a little too, get it through the blood system. <laughs> Oh, burns, burns the eyes. <laughs> oh, oh Will Ferrell, you're amazing. Let's get a Incredible. sponsorship from him. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That's funness, right? What do you guys talk about? <laughs> Frank the Tank. Ah, uh, jeez, nothing. Right, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I uh, I did a podcast this week, and I thought I was going to get a lot of of pushback just by yourself. Um, <laughs> not myself. Oh, you joined that one. I, right. I jo- yeah. I, yeah, I joined. You one. cheated on me. I remember. I didn't that. cheat. <laughs> they asked me to be be on this thing. This it's fine. Didn't ask uh, me. It's fine. It was for football, Murph. Yeah, didn't ask me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play football overseas? No. You don't know that. I don't. Tell I you could. Everything. I don't tell you everything. <laughs> Secret agent, Murph. Exactly. The uh, a really great kicker. <laughs> really good safety too. <laughs> When Murph Black gets football. angry, <laughs> Murph gets angry. It's it's over. Yeah, I forget that I can't run, and I just run everywhere. So that's how it works. <laughs> We're running circles, really, guys. Yeah, but then I'm really winded by the end of it. But let's continue. <laughs> they, so this uh, one of the guys that runs a, a podcast, mainly kind of focusing heavily on on American football overseas, which I've been a part of the last couple of years. They um they he basically said, hey, like, would you want to be a part of this? I was like, yeah, whatever. It's a couple months back, and. And then, like, a couple months later, they're like, there was something big that happened overseas, which was like, well, they had some issues with imports living in some really bad conditions uh, oh, yeah. in flats and whatnot. Uh, the flats had, like, mold, and the, the tub was just in terrible shape. You, you know that it. Chinese black mold that was hitting Florida for a while? <laughs> I don't know. All right. That German mold's very efficient. Fair. Fair. <laughs> it, it happened to a guy or a couple of uh, imports that were on, like, the 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 winning team you know in the league of frankfurt galaxy Damn. so it's a big deal um not to mention it was the same guy if you guys kind of follow that stuff that was on the roslaw panthers a years back this is my first year overseas where he got locked out and there's a lot of issues there so it's like there's some hit issues with him and a couple other teams so i, I i'm kind of like taking with double-edged sword i'm like all right is it him or really, is the situation just that messed up? I don't know what to think. So it's really weird because I was on the podcast with one of the guys I used to coach. I, I coached um, this past year in Poland before all hell broke loose. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I honestly, him and I get along. So it was very fluid, good conversation. And so him and I, like, when we kept... Was it better than our conversations? Huh. Oh. I don't know. Oh, thank you. I, it, was, it was more of like a joke. You could say yes, but I don't that's know. Fair. All right, that's fair. That's fair. We have deeper conversations. I think. Like, yes, me and, about yeah, about weird things. It's fine. All right, continue. Uh, uh, fine. Continue your story. And, yeah, you I'm not jealous. Go on. It's fine. I'm not no, jealous. It's, you know, it's fine. I'm just, 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 just going to leave. I'm taking this chair with me. The fans got. We're just going to keep going. I'm just going <laughs> over here. All right. All right. right. Continue. The hell with it. I'm just going to be over here. Is this ASMR? <laughs> Is this how it works? I feel slightly turned on. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I had to distract. I was quiet for too long. All right, continue. Uh, continue your story. Indeed. <laughs> That's why I like these microphones. That's fair. Um, I'll show you background music while you talk about this. It's, uh, was this Doug? I don't know what you were going to say. <laughs> Where were you going? I wasn't I going anywhere near um, there. Okay. But no, it was a good conversation. And my, my whole thing is, is I'm like thinking to myself the whole time, like, I know these Polish people are probably listening. I'm like, they're going to be coming after me. Gonna be like saying all kinds of crap. I believe it's a Polish mafia, so yeah, you're probably on the list. I swear there is. Mm-hmm. All right, continue. There is Polish mafia. Apparently, I was in right in the middle of it too. I had no idea. Um, but no, that luckily that nothing really happened out of that. But it was. Uh, it's always interesting to be on different podcasts because you kind of see how things work, how they operate. I'm like, wow, they're more professional than us. Oh, wh- what? We just sit here and we just uh, talk. I call shenanigans, sir. <laughs> We're very professional. Do you see the structure of this podcast? Do you see this mustache that I'm trying to grow? We're very professional. It's like Tom Selleck over here. Fuck you, San Diego. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
But no, I'm just it's just fascinating to me because I'm like, when you're on the different podcasts, we're like, all right, guys, we're gonna talk about this, and um, we're probably gonna kind of head in this direction. Then, you know, you know, kind of do what you want. I'm like, all right, cool, nice, fun, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's like my podcast. We just do where the hell we want. Oh, that, we're that works. so non-scripted. Exactly. <laughs> Which I'm sure they can figure out with all these random comments and things we go down. Yeah, we just piggyback. Exactly. Murph, if you know anything about Murph, he likes to jump on your back and go on for a piggyback ride. All the other conversation. And then you got Pokemon with a stick and have him talk about Canada. <laughs> Partially true? Come on. Ah, stop, stop. Talk about Canada. Ah, stop. <laughs> All right. Hockey, maple, goddamn it, stop it. Bridges, continue. Bridges. <laughs> Deteriorating bridges. <laughs> Infrastructure is falling. Am I good? Uh, yeah, you got me. That's it. I'm, I don't even know why I'm here. You, already got, you got me in a box here. I don't really know. Check, check, check. Uh, got it. Uh-huh. All got right. them all. End the podcast. You've, <laughs> you've checked it all. The fans are happy. <laughs> I don't even know why people listen to this thing. Every week it's the same. They're like, hey, when's a new one coming out? I'm like, I mean, you should more say, hey, we love it. Thank you guys for supporting us. But at the same time, too, what the fuck are you doing to listen to this? <laughs> I mean, it's like, wh- why is this entertaining? There's no, no value I'm, here. I'm bored half the time. I don't even yeah. know. I'm just saying shit. <laughs> We've had to drink heavily for this stuff. You know, that's also another question. People are like, why do they have multiple cans of liquor? I was like, because when we get done with one, we go to the next. Oh yeah, it's America. We don't. Yeah, yeah we, we we don't stop. It's just like uh, if we if we could mainline that in the i in in a <laughs> IV in an IV, like we would do it. Like that's go. how it would go right Let's here. Let's go. We are not alcoholics. Let's just clarify that real just, quick. I could function without alcohol, but I'm my funniest. <laughs> are you a no? I like to think I'm my funniest when I've had a few alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I, I keep cutting you off. I, no. Were you were you done with that cheating podcast that you cheated on me with, or where were, were we with that? Well, why are you getting all antsy, hmm. antsy in your pantsy? Jeez. That's not what that means. No, <laughs> no. Nope. Okay, I think we're I think we're wrong there. No, I'm just messing. No, with I'm, you. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it's 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 really fun to be on other podcasts and talk about different things. See, if you ever get invited onto like a Canadian podcast or an NHL podcast, which I'm Fair. kind of surprised you haven't been. Oh, I'm nobody in the NHL world. That's like, no, that would never happen. Well, I mean, you got to have some They can insight. invite NHL players. They can invite brothers of NHL players that actually played in the NHL. Like, they can they can do all that. I am, like, low on the totem pole. I actually might even be the ground that the totem pole is buried in. I might even be, like, <laughs> that part of the totem pole. I like, mean, you, know, you like, have, a, think you have an like interesting the, perspective, though. I think if it's, like, got... the Indian caste system, I'm, like, the real, <laughs> like, I'm below the lepers. Like, I think I'm really below in the NHL world. Oh. Like, you know, happy Diwali, but yeah, I'm the, you know, I'm just very <laughs> low on that. Like, <laughs> I mean, you have an interesting perspective because, like, it's not just all right, your brother's in it, but then your dad's in it. Okay, like, so you have kind of like a bloodline there. It's like you have a. Fortunately, different... fortunately, that's like there's a, another bloodline that they've coached and played the Sutter bloodline. Like those guys, like, I don't think the NHL has ever not existed without one of them in it. It's weird. Oh god, yeah, breeding. It's crazy. And got farms. Oh yeah, now what's they're they're from British Columbia. Uh, yes, British Columbia, I think. No, Alberta, Alberta. And out in Alberta, oh. it's like a lot of like farm country. So man, they just have. I mean, and I could be wrong, but this is what I've been told is that they just they have kids and farm. That's pretty much all they do. So they have like the Sutter family has oh. like six sons, and all of them have played in the oh. NHL. Yeah, a yeah. few of them coach now, and then now their kids are playing in the NHL. Jeez. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Wow. So most likely, if you hear Sutter in the NHL, it's related to one of them. And I also have a connection, but I have no knowledge. That's You've it. You've done some research on Don Selesky. Don Big Bird Selesky. There you go. Part of the Broad Street Bullies. That's a horrible nickname. Uh, I know the... It's pretty bad. 60s? 70s. 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 I know the 70s were a different Part time, so maybe Street Big Bird like, was Philly. like a... Yeah. Maybe yeah. Big Bird was like a tough name, but... <laughs> I just no, think Sesame because, Street. Because he had like bushy hair and like a big nose. Gotcha. So they called him Big Bird. And then he, yeah. uh, that that group during that time was just so nasty that just, he actually ended up getting arrested because he beat up a fan in the stands. Because I think he, <laughs> he like hit a guy into the glass, the glass shattered. And someone the f- like in the crowd like said something to him and so he punched him in the face too. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, geez. Jeez. Yeah, hockey was different back then. 
A lot oh. more fighting. A lot more. Uh, that group would just take anybody. Never yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot more like Slapshot. Nowadays, not so much. But no. back then, it was a lot like Slapshot. I miss that, though. I wish he has more of that grit. Yeah, I don't know Even with know. soccer, yeah. like it's kind of the same thing, too. Soccer was tough at one point? Yeah. Hmm. You would get you get some Irish in there and they would Oh, uh, actually, you know what that makes crap. sense. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. You're right. They would let they would let elbows go and oh, things like that. Yeah. Man. Yeah, good point. I forgot about that. That's it's why like, the English they played like that a little rougher. Yeah. It's just those those two sports I wish were kind of like I don't know. It seems like a lot of sports kind of go back into time a little bit. And I wish that was kind of the case for hockey and soccer. It's like at least I want to see some grit. I want to see a little bit of physicality, but no. I think for CTE. I think like everything, things repeat themselves. So I think for yeah. now, it's like hockey's going that direction, but they'll go yeah. back to their roots. Like eventually, people love seeing back. fighting. People love seeing that. Like that's they'll go back to it. It'll he, happen. Football. It's probably going to take their time. They won't yeah. see that for a while. No, I can I can <laughs> don't even imagine that. Like football is like unfortunately like football was meant to be like gladiators. Killing yeah. each other like so I don't I don't see that ever getting to a yeah. There's more positions more protected than others, but at the end of the yeah. day, guys are killing themselves like just, not as bad as you think. Nowadays, it's more protected. It's fair. I mean, Murph and I were kind of in that kind of like right in that sweet spot where things were kind of the same, like the traditional developing more into because this is like I think twenty ten or eleven when all yeah. the concussion stuff started coming out yep. so we graduated from high school in 09 oh, that's yeah. when things were kind of transitioning into the, the yeah. newer age yeah protection of players pretty much all sports yeah it went from like oh yeah. you know you can stand up you can skate who you know who cares if you got a concussion to now it's like you sure maybe you should just sit this one out <laughs> for a little bit like yeah it's yeah, it's, it's, it's like what well, i know doing? i know lots of people that by mid high school their careers were pretty much done because they just kept getting concussions so it was like yeah i was just oh, yeah Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, but in all fairness, they didn't have the size to do what they were doing. They were playing too tough for being too small, and you're like, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> what's uh, what's the plan for the month? What's going on? Great question. Um. Well, as I already went on my Thanksgiving, right? As I already went on my uh, hockey family Thanksgiving is about right? to be crazy. No, not really. So unfortunately, uh. No one has games on Thanksgiving in the NHL. I believe they give that time off. But because of, like, in the NHL, most Canadians, Thanksgiving's in October, just not really oh, a big holiday. So, like, obviously it's big for my family because, like, we still love hanging out together. So we tried to, but most of the time someone ends up missing it, whether it's my brother or my dad. Uh, my sister's a nurse, so sometimes she has to miss it. Yeah. So I think this year my mom will be in New York. For, see my dad so i might try and get up there and see him for thanksgiving okay and then connor will be coming in to play the rangers the first weekend of december so i might Ooh. try and like take the next week off and just kind of or work from new york because uh, i can kind of work remotely right now in my new job so try and do that for three days and then take the next two days off or something whatever my boss is okay with Damn. hopefully fingers crossed um but that's kind of what i'm hoping for yeah. Um, so yeah, so we'll, so I will try and do that for Thanksgiving. Other than that, right now, nothing really crazy. We're, uh, the Rangers come to Columbus Saturday. So a week from a week from yesterday. So I'll be going to a Blue Jackets Rangers game, which unfortunately, nice. yeah, unfortunately I don't get free Blue Jacket tickets because my, <laughs> not anymore. my dad's not related to them anymore. <laughs> but when my dad comes into town, he can usually get a hookup to like get some cheap tickets or he'd usually buy some tickets so we could go. Um, and then, yeah, that'll, that'll kind of really be Jeez. about it. I want to try and get to New York, but just, I mean, not New York to Chicago, but there's something's going to happen with, with work right now. A lot of things going on. So fortunately yeah. my job, when the holidays come around, there's a lot more theft. So there's a lot more things for me to look into and, um, people to investigate and all that. Yeah, you're fun getting stuff. that sweet spot. I know yeah. working at GNC, it was kind of, yeah, about this time. Within like the next week or two, it's going to yeah. be really bad. Yeah, where people are like, "All right, I got people stealing using fake coupons and all yep. kinds of crap." For me, it's mostly internal, so I don't focus on external. I mostly yeah. focus on internal. So it's like we still have a lot of things that people kind of put their hands on. So it's like there's money missing, there's product missing, there's this, there's that, which <laughs> takes a lot out of you because you do feel bad. It's the holiday season, and some of these people are 
you know, making above minimum wage and put in some really bad situations. So they got to do this stuff. But at the end of the day, unfortunately, I have a job I have to do. Like, you know, I got to figure it out. I got to solve it and give my best opinion. So it's like, yeah. I could say it's it's easier when they want to lie to me and stuff like that happens. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for them. But then the people that like work with me and are actually honest and like really nice about it, like I feel bad for them. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so that will kick in, which usually means I'm very busy soon. Um, and then mostly, though, I think I told you it's the holiday. It's Christmas season. Like, it's really busy. Yeah. For my family, it's really big. In the NHL, you usually get Christmas, even Christmas Day off, which is almost unheard of to have, like, two days Jeez. randomly off. Yeah, because only All-Star break, you get a week off. Um, so this year, it's the Olympic break, which is, like, two weeks. But uh, yeah, To be usually... fair, that's, like, the only time the Murph gets with his family is usually Christmas. Yeah. And then you may be having like half the people there on Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like, yeah, like, so that's it's like, like the only two times like where I'm every, like, I'm not going to say anything to Murph yeah. and then go do his thing. Cause that's like, that's literally, <laughs> ev- that's literally everyone. So yeah. Christmas, it's my brother, my dad. Um, and then of course my mom, my sister, we can usually make that work. Yeah. Um, whereas yeah, Thanksgiving, it's like one of us is working. I had to miss it once. Like it, it happens. Yeah. Like it's true. It's just, it's. It's a big holiday for us, but not as big as the other Americans who like travel everywhere and do all like because they say they say in the U.S. what Thanksgiving's the big time that people spend with their family. And then Christmas, people don't always travel on Christmas to go see family. It's mostly Thanksgiving. I think so. so yeah, yeah. Because like Thanksgiving, kind of like oh, it's weird. Like everyone respects it here. Yeah. So like they always kind of give you ample amount of time off to go back home. But yeah, Christmas, it's like okay, yeah, like you can go home for Christmas, but then you got to be here like the next day. Yeah. So some people are like, oh, I'm not going to be. They don't even give you Christmas Eve off. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes they got to work on that day, Christmas off, and then work the next day or the day after. I think it's because Christmas was considered a religious thing. So that's why they try yeah. not to give it too off now because like yeah. for like Ramadan and all that, they don't give that time off for that. So it's like you got to be careful the favoritism you show. Whereas like Thanksgiving is a non partisan holiday. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. It's just not a religious holiday. So that's why they can kind of give that off a little more. Just weird because like used to be those holidays like as a kid there's like nothing that'll be open now Correct. it's like half the stuff is open oh yeah I feel bad I feel bad for people that work that's that's days. that's where yeah exactly that's kind of like where I feel most awful yep. it's like you start looking around and you're like these people are working I'm like man just go home right shit you want to open up this place just for us damn <laughs> yeah and there's I mean Black Friday is different day after Thanksgiving that's yeah. obviously gets really busy for people preparing for Christmas shopping. Um, that but, is our stampede day. It's where yes. we stomp over, over people yes. to get our... But what I, what I like that Chipotle... the Tubal Man. Right? <laughs> what I like, though, that Chipotle does better is at least on the day of Thanksgiving, they close early. It's only like a half day. Yeah. Which is good because at the end of the day, like no one's going out after 1 o'clock on Thanksgiving because you're preparing meals and you're done by then and you're going to stay in, watch football, and eat. Um, God, I hate Thanksgiving. It's the same thing as what I do every other day. Well, you're supposed to eat really nice on Thanksgiving. Uh, that's fair. Same thing. All right. All right. So I, I do that like every weekend. You know, you eat a lot, then you go watch well, football. I don't, I don't get a nice prepared turkey every day. So that's something I, I, that's either Christmas I'm or not Thanksgiving. I'm not a big turkey guy either. Oh, so it's really? like, jeez. Who are you? I thought you were American. Jeez. <laughs> Just give me a bacon wrapped turkey with <laughs> Actually, cheese inside, baby. <laughs> that's very American. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> now we're <But>, talking. <laughs> how about you? What are your plans? Oh, you know, I'm perfect. You know, the same old, same old. Just, just, just doing things. Just doing things. Honestly, going to be the same thing as what I normally do. I'm going to edit my little butt off. There you go. And then hope to little baby Jesus. That maybe I can sign with a nice nice uh, team this year. There you go. Next I, year. I, I, yeah. We'll see. He wants to go back to Europe and start coaching football. <sighs> yeah, kind of getting the itch again. You know, over. I think they oh. make a cream for that. Huh? Ah, gotcha. Huh? So I think they make a cream for that. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. God. Mustache jokes. <laughs> God. Someone get some Nair and wipe that mustache go. off. <laughs> <laughs> it would work, too, probably. Yeah, it'll work, too. Yeah. Ah! No, just uh, still talking to some teams and figuring out where I want to go. Um, being more picky now. I've been overseas now. Oh, it's be my yeah, you're fifth You're quite year. a veteran now, yeah. Yeah, when you get over like the two or three year hump, it's it's a big deal. So I'm going my fifth, and so just, where specific you want to go? Honestly, Germany's number one. Germany is definitely number one. Um, anywhere in the Elf is kind of where I'm I'm sitting. 
So the the new NFL Europe essentially. That's kind of where I want to be. Um, unless there's, I don't know. I'm kind of like I'm a weird soccer coach almost. If I see a project where a team is putting in money into a team, I'm like, okay, I can yeah. I can work with that. But you don't see that whole lot anymore because of Elf popping up. But I don't know. It's kind of where I'm Fair. sticking. I, Germany has got has got my heart i tell you what you go there once you're you are sold nice so might as well just move there and marry it <laughs> <laughs> we love it so much marry it. Jeez. god uh that's awesome god. I mean, it's high on my list to go there so that's fair not for coach or anything just to travel so you know it's... i always wonder though why other teams maybe don't take the stance of develop good play like will they do it like Soccer, like develop good players, then maybe the elf teams will buy those players off them. Well, now they're starting to realize. Um, I'm not sure if it's every league, but I know Poland they started introducing this new rule where if you're going to buy a player who's played an X amount of years at the senior level, then you have to pay a transfer fee. So now they're starting to introduce that soccer mindset where you have to pay a transfer fee and then so you can take that, that money and reinvest it back in the club. Which is cool. I like that. So it's now now every country's doing that, but I think once they understand, okay, we can start doing this, we can make some money off of it, then um, that's where the TV contracts can come in. Because so that's the problem, them. though, if the Elf League will agree to that, because obviously they that's, might just say, we'll never buy yeah. Poland players. Then. Like it'll just like that. Exactly. Like, you kind of need all those lower leagues to come together and be like, we can force this. You but know what what's going to happen, yeah. too? You got players, too, you know, who are going to be like, well, I'm not going to resign a new deal yeah. because then I'll just go over here. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. It's a bigger club, bigger stage. The hell with it. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's every every job i go into um my first concern is like all right how can, where are we at level wise how can i develop the younger guys so when i do leave they can still kind of manage to be decent um but a lot of teams for some reason they just don't believe in that they're like all right let's go buy you know european talent american talent and then hope you know it all comes together it yeah. all comes together and then you know the hell with long term stuff yeah. cuz some some countries don't believe in that but germany does Austria really puts a lot of money into the youth, but it's really that's cool. It. Yeah, it's that's kind of the the focus. Um, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, uh, Elf has kind of moved everything back. They probably won't even start recruiting till later. But um, I think they started a little bit right now. But I think they usually start doing that like after the new year. Okay, and then the rest of the leagues are probably. I think most of them are recruiting right now. So it's just a, it's weird. A lot of domestic coaches being, you know, head coaches now. A lot of players that typically would go GFL, now they're going to Elf. So the rest of the leagues are kind of being screwed. They're like, what do we do? There's not a whole lot of talent gotcha. left yeah. over. It's weird. But this is this fun times. Guess. It It is fun, fun Murph. You and your little Canadian butt, it's fun. Uh, but, wow. Nice. Nice, we did it. We did it. I don't wow. know how we keep doing it every week. Well, I, not every week, but how we keep doing it. It's therapeutic, Murph. This it is, is what we do. Bit. Just bitch at our listeners for no reason. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, oh god, it's disgusting. That's yeah, but I can't turn it off. <laughs> you guys know each other? No, we don't. Yeah, yeah. just pull me off the street. <laughs> Promise me five bucks. Tell her off the street. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a weird porno the, or something. Bill, it's the old Billy on the street. Thing. Uh, gotcha. It's got to be ag- aggressive and angry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like Winona Ryder? What? Winona Ryder? What? what about her? Exactly. <laughs> Why are you so exactly. aggressive? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, what is this sort of TV show? Yes, this is some sort of TV show. I don't like your eyes. I don't like yours, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Will that guy ever find love? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, uh, what yikes. a week. Hopefully, we will have right. more coming out the next few weeks. Um, Should be able to. Yeah. Murph. Murph always has some interest, uh, interesting things to say. Try Hopefully to. Hopefully, get uh, more Canadians on our side this time. Probably not. Bigger, no? Okay. Probably not, man. We'll just, maybe we'll just start eating some Canadian candy or something in front of them. Just, you know. <laughs> like, Canada sucks, but here's a maple cookie. ASMR. <laughs> 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 <There's always, laughs> that's always something to do. Right? <laughs> Leroy and Leroy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm Leroy, and this is Leroy behind the other mic. There's always something to do on this podcast. Right? 
Always. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Oh, uh, say goodbye, Murph. Bye, Zach.